Christians at all? My family is. Ah, yeah, listen, that's exactly what I said. When I was a real little bloke, that's my wife there, by the way. When, when I was a really little bloke, I went to the Catholic Church, and I was an altar boy, and somebody said to me, are you a Christian? They asked me that question. I said, yeah. They said, why? I said, mum and dad are Christians. Went to a Christian school, and I read the Bible. I got you this time, you know. And they said, no. And I said, what do you mean, no? I was really upset, you know. I was only small. They said, only what Jesus Christ said and did, get your pass to heaven. I said, what do you say and do? When they told me, it rocked my socks off, really did. I got them back. So that, that, that was the first thing. <laughs> so I got them back. Now we're okay. But ser seriously. Glad you got the socks back. John chapter 3, verse 3 in the Bible. Jesus said these words. He said, unless you're born again of my spirit, you cannot enter heaven. When I heard that, I said, I am going to get that 100% right in my life. I'll tell you why. I looked on the internet yesterday, 166,000 people died in the world. And today, and tomorrow, and every day in 2023, 60 million of them. I thought to myself, we have no idea. It's a terrible subject, but we have no idea when that happens, right? If you don't know when, at least know where. Does that make sense? Where you're going to be. That's why Jesus came to fix the problem. Took all the sin off your life, put it on himself. What a beautiful thing. You know the one I missed as a little bloke? He gave something back. Took the sin, gave back his righteousness. Big word, it means no sin. It means holiness. And when God looks at you and he sees, when you're born of the Spirit of Jesus, and he sees the holiness of Jesus on you, the righteousness, he sees no sin. And there's no sin in heaven, not even a little bit. So he looks at you, sees no sin, none in heaven, you get a pass. Isn't it easy? Yeah. But it's not automatic. If it was automatic, see all these people? They'd all be jumping around saying, we're all safe, going to heaven 100%, and I wouldn't need to be here. I could be at right my sands having a coffee, looking for socks. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry to crack you up again. <laughs> all right, forget the socks, right? <laughs> forget the socks. <laughs> Socks are, socks are not important. Your eternal soul is important, all right? And my socks so, are, yeah, you socks. need socks. All right, so now we're going to get serious now because this is a serious matter, right? People walk around saying, cannot enter heaven, don't know when I'm going to die. And I say to people, I'm not calling anyone dumb, but I say, that's a dumb way to walk around when you don't have to. Because Jesus Christ did that. He fixed the problem, right? And he's got you here today because he wants to tidy that up in your life. This is like a divine appointment. Yeah. yeah. So... This is what he says. He's knocking on the door of your life today. And he said, if you hear his voice, open the door. He said, I'll come in. I will wash away all your sin. And I'll give you this righteousness. And you'll be safe in his hand. Isn't that good? Yeah. That's what he wants to do today. Yeah? yeah? Let's do it. Let's pray together. This is what we do out on the street here. We pray together. And we ask. Yeah. Okay. We'll look into the wind. All right. I'm not talking anything about those other things. All right. Those socks. Okay. All right. Okay, this is serious now. Before God, you just say after me, say, Heavenly Father, I ask Jesus into my life. Come in and wash away all of my sin. Give me your righteousness. I believe you died for me. And that you rose again. I'll give you my life. I turn away from my sin. I turn away from my sin. And according to your word. And according to your word. I am born of your spirit. I am born of your spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Listen, I cannot promise you anything, but the God who created you and me and everything in heaven and earth, you know what? He makes you a promise. And the Bible says he cannot lie. You know what he promises you? You're now safe in his hand. Isn't that good? Yeah. And even better, he says, nobody, not even yourself, can ever pluck you out. He's got your back. Yeah, That's what he good. wanted you here today for, divine appointment, yeah? yeah? Thank you so much for coming up. Listen, Thank you. Thank you. YouTube oh, I channel. I Did I give it to you? Oh, yeah. See? <laughs> See? Oh, That's why That's why I forget my socks, all right? Here you go. Oh, thank you. Now, that's thank the Gospel you. of John. Read that. There's a track in there that, that gives you 
tells you about the born again experience, okay? okay. You're so respectful. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. And you're, anyway, you got a bit of a laugh. <laughs> anyway, that's good. And just bring some friends. We're chats with here, yes. on, like on a Thursday and sometimes a Saturday, and we're in town hall as well. Yeah. All right. Thank you, girls. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye. See ya. Hallelujah.